everybody. Welcome to the Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. Welcome back. And if you're new with me, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm Isabel. And uh, if you like my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button down at the bottom and also that little bell. And that'll let you know when I upload a video. Anyways, today I am just going to do a tutorial and a swatch and tell and a review all in one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be doing, just getting comfy here, just going to be doing a review. I know that everybody and their mother has probably seen this palette and everything like that, but you haven't seen it from me. So I'm going to be doing a review on the, um, the Emily Edit The Needs palette, which is like this. And this palette is from Makeup Revolution. London. It is a drugstore brand, so um, it is known to be in Ulta and um, other drugstores. So that's what this looks like here. Now, if you follow Emily Noel 83, she is a YouTuber here on YouTube. <laughs> she's been on YouTube for quite some time and she's a very she she's a no nonsense kind of girl. She's really sweet, um, and she does have a very big channel here on YouTube. She's um, not a big like she she I don't know. She does a lot of drugstore reviews, um, and she's very real. And she shares her family, you know. Also, she's got the two cutest little girls ever. I mean, she's so cute. They're so cute. But anyways, so they reached out to her and asked her if they wanted, if she wanted to collab with them to do, uh, to have a couple of palettes. And she was pretty much able to do whatever she wanted um, because, you know, she didn't want to be like, oh, I don't know, oh, because, um, you know, I, I don't want to be stuck with this particular palette, you know, the whole time and do, you know. So they let her do whatever she wanted. So she picked out some colors from um, the Revolution um, palettes that she's liked from the past. And so she got all her favorites and everything on some palettes, um, in a couple of palettes. Now this is the smaller one um, that she did. Um, this one is called The Needs, and the reason she did this one is because um, she has uh, all everything that you need to do a look in here, which is like contouring, um, an eye look. Um, so I'm going to be doing this look I used all with this palette here. So I'm going to be doing a uh, look with that here. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what this says. It says here, um, a collect a collection of beauty, um, a co I'm sorry, a collection of beauty vlogger Emily Noel 83's favorite shades, handpicked from her top makeup revolution palettes. This all-in-one palette for face and eyes is an everyday essential. And then in the back it has that. That's her face right there. Okay, so when you open this box up, it does come, this is the palette. It's really, really pretty. I love the pink, because she loves pink. So I, that's why they made her, she got to pick out the whole, you know, how they make it and everything. So I really, you know, like this is the, the box here, the container. And when you open it up, it's got a full mirror. It's got all these nice colors that you can do an everyday look. Okay, the names of the the names of the uh, colors are on the palette itself, on the packaging itself, which is nice because you know you don't want to be looking at a paper or back of the box for you know the palettes for the for the names. So that's really nice that she had that done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a swatch and tell for you. Now all of the, there, there are six colors in here 
that are 0 0.035 ounces, and then there are four that are 0 0.063 ounces. So, you know, um, if you've been with me for a bit, you know how I do my swatch and tells. I do primer and without primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then um, I'm gonna give you my thoughts at the end of what I think about this palette. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna go down this way. For the uh, for the colors for the swatches, so you guys can can see. Okay, now I'm going to be using this um, Shadow Insurance by Too Faced for the primer, and I guess I'll just do the primer here on that side. So here we go. I'm going to be using this this. Um, Costco brush. It's just a shader brush. And um, I'm going to go this way. Now the first one I'm going to be swatching, this one is Peace. This one here is Peace. Okay. Peace is a peachy nude matte finish. piece. The next color is called Love, which is this one here. Primer? No primer. Love is a cream matte finish. Okay. The next one is called Hope. Hope is a fudge brown matte finish. The next one is called Faith, which is this one here. Primer, no primer. Okay, Faith. Faith um, is described as a warm brown matte finish. The next one is called Honesty. Okay, that's Honesty. Honesty is a blush peach satin finish. This one is called Passion. I'll give it a little bit more swatchy there. Okay, did a, a little bit more on that one. Okay. Passion is a dark brown with a red shimmer. This one is called Courage. This is the contour color. Now that one is described as a um, medium brown bronzer and contour shade. I'm wiping off my brush here. Joy. Joy is a peachy pink blush matte finish. 
And the next one is called Gratitude, and this is the highlighter. This is a creamy highlight with a satin finish. And this, these are the colors to the Emily Edit The Needs palette. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this tutorial for you. And then um, I'll be back, you know, you'll see me with doing my tutorial. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts and what I think and at the end of the tutorial. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you guys. So um, I've already put on my foundation and my brows. So let's get to this tutorial using the Emily Edit the Needs palette. Oops, my little thing's coming off here. So let's get to it. I already put some primer potion on. Um, I used the Wet n Wild one today. So, um, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this color called um, Peace right here. And I'm going to put that all over on the brow bone here. It's a really, really nice matte color. Um, it's really nice to put on the brow bone like I'm doing here. Okay. And the next color we're going to get is, let's see if I can find a brush here, guys, because here we go. Um, the next color I got was um, this color called Faith, right here. So I'm going to get that color. And put it right underneath that brow bone, about right here. Okay. And then just go slow and then just small circles all the way in. I mean, you can have it really light or really dark. I like it about medium because um, of my skin tone. But this palette works really well for all skin tones, I think. Um, the, it's the Courage... It's this one here. It might be it might be a little bit um, too light for some really um, deep skin tones. And like with anything, you've got to blend it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a different brush and then I'm going to blend that um, right on top there. Um, let's see if I can find. Where did all my eye brushes go? My goodness, I wonder if my granddaughters got in here because they play in here all the time. Here it is. Mm. <laughs> they like to come in here and play with grandma's stuff. But that's okay. As long as they don't break anything and I can find it. <laughs> okay, there's that. Um, the next color I'm going to go into is... Um, this color up here called Hope, right there. And I'm just gonna get just a little bit of that and go into the crease. I'm gonna a creasy brush. I'll just use this one. There we go. Very, very lightly. I'm not going in real, really all the way in with this color. And I'm not, I'm just doing it very, very lightly. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, and pull this up a little bit. Okay. 
and do the other eye. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this color called um, Honesty. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful, um, I don't know, it's like a pinky, corally color, I think. I don't know. It's so pretty. Uh, this one here. And I'm going to put that all over on the lid from here to about where that brown stops. If you hear that jingling, that's just my dogs. They're in here with me and it's their little collars, you know, their tags that are clinking everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and put more saturation right here and right here. Look where I am. It's all right. I don't know why Emmett's crying. He might have to go potty. So I'm just doing saturation here and here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of concealer, which is my, um, from Maybelline. I think this is the Fit Me from Maybelline. I'm just going to get a little bit and put it in the center. I'm going to get my finger and do just a little bit like this. Same thing here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with um, I'm gonna actually go in with this highlighter. This one is called a uh, gratitude. This highlighter right here, and I'm gonna get my finger and put that in that middle where I put that concealer. wasn't sticking because my hand my finger had concealer on it okay just like that okay and then now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the eyeliner what I used for eyeliner is um, I used the darker one here called passion this one here use this one here well, actually, before I put that on, I'm going to put a little bit of the of this color on there, um, the Hope. Just going to put that on the bottom. All right. And then I'm going to go in with the uh, Passion, which is this one. Just so that that bottom lid doesn't look so, you know, too dark. So now I'm going to go back and with that passion color, which is here, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the um, the upper lashes here for the eyeliner. Okay, so that's that. So I'm getting my benefit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Not benefit, fit me. What am I saying? I'm insane. <laughs> oh, this is going to be cracking me up. <sighs> well, what do you do? I'm just going to go ahead and push this up 
in here. Kind of clean that up and push it up. And we're coming down a little bit. Get some more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get um, this, what is it called, kindness? This right here. This was actually um, designed for the, um, for the under eye. For this, for the powder for the under eye. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of that white. This one here. It's not white really. It's called Love. This one here. And pop it right in there. It's This is really pretty. I like this. It's matte. Sometimes we don't want you know, a highlight in the, in, in the corners there. You, you can put, uh, not highlight, what would I'm saying, sparkle, as I spit everywhere. <laughs> sparkle, because uh, sometimes a matte is, is prettier, you know, for a highlighter. Highlight means it's just kind of lighted up, you know what I mean? So, okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead, after I did that, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Laura Mercier. Look, you guys, I'm almost done with it. I'm so happy. Just getting a little bit of it in here. And I'm dropping everything. Love this powder brush. Oh, my goodness. You have such a pretty finish. Okay. So next what we're gonna is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some um, contour, which is courage. This one here. Like I said, um, this may be a it may be a little bit too light for some darker skin tones. I know because sometimes when I get something that's you know like a like a contour color, whatever, it's, sometimes it's too light for my skin tone and. You know, you have to just get something a little bit darker. But I'm going to be using this one here. This. So that's what I'm going to do. Now this one's pretty nice for me. Um, but then again, I don't know though. I might have misspoke. It might be okay for the darker skin tones. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit and put it here. And I'm going to use this brush here for this um, highlighter. It's called uh, Gratitude again. Gratitude. You know what I'm trying to say. It's not a real intense uh, highlighter. But it is really, really nice for when you're going to work or something like that. You know what? I'm going to use this pan brush. See if that works for me a little bit better. It's very subtle. It's not like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But it is nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some blush. I'll be using this one here. This color is called Joy. Okay. 
there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on. Okay, I finished off my look with um, this really pretty lipstick. I've been very much enjoying these uh, Maybelline lipsticks. The, the, they're very shiny and creamy. And this one is in uh, Blackberry, uh, Berry Black, no, Berry Black Male. Sorry about that. Berry Black Male. This is so pretty. It's, I love it. It's so, oh, it's beautiful. And then I just put some mascara on, but I put my favorite on, which is the last Lash Sensational. So that's it. So this is my final look on this, uh, the Emily Edit Needs palette. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on the palette. Uh, first of all, I wanna say congratulations to Emily Noel for um, you know, having this palette and there's another one out which I will be doing a swatch and tell on it soon. Um, I wanna congratulate her and her hard work on YouTube. It doesn't go unnoticed. And, um, you know, she's YouTube's sweetheart, um, as I like to call her. So, um, that being said, um, first of all, let's go over the packaging of the palette. The packaging, the box of this palette, the, where it comes in the container, I really, I really like it. I like it a lot. First of all, because it's hard. Okay, and you could put it, it's really great for travel. Now this, this um, packaging, it, I love the fact that it does have a mirror, the big, big mirror. I like that because, especially because I'm older and I need a lot of space to see, you know, on when I'm doing my makeup. Um, and this is really, really refreshing that there is a full size mirror in such a, you know, um, I mean, it, it gives you so much room in there so you can just put your makeup on. Um, I love that. And I'm not a big fan of mirrors. Usually I don't really use the mirrors, but this one I really, I really like. And uh, I really love the fact that the names are on the, um, the palette itself. So you, when you're using it, you don't have to say, okay, what, you know, look in the back or look at the box you know, that it comes in to see what the names are. And I really enjoy that a, a lot. And I like that they're very sweet. The names are very sweet, you know. Um, so it just, it's, they're nice. They're just nice, refreshing names for the different colors in this palette. Now, the palette I love because it does have six colors in it which are your base, you know, to me, I think they're a basic neutral palette. Um, here are for the eyes that you can use when you're traveling. You know, when, you're, when you've are when you got a business trip or if you're traveling anywhere, you can do a very light, light eye, which you can just, you know, pop just a little bit of something on your eye and then you're gone, you know. And I do like the fact that it does have a um, setting powder which is this one here, the under eye powder that I used for here. Um, that, I did do a look on this yesterday. I tested it out and to see how long it wore. Um, I did use the whole palette. I did this exact same look yesterday and I did post it on my Instagram and I had uh, a couple of people ask me if I was gonna do a video on it. Um, and it did, the colors, it did last all day. At first I thought it was going to crease because I was like, I don't know if I'm, you know, but it, it really didn't crease at, at all. Um, at the end of the day, when I was looking in the mirror, you know, under my eyes, for me, it did not crease the this powder here. So that was really, really good. Um, so this is a, I like this powder very much. Um, as far as the contour powder here, um, this one here, I do like it. It did come out really nice. It's very nice for my skin tone. Um, I did mention in this video that I don't know if it's going to be dark enough for some, some um, deep, deep skin tones. I don't know, um, but it, it might, you know, um, 
but this this blush here is really nice. I like that too. Um, but the thing is with this one, um, the formula on here is it's kind of of, of a um, hard finish to it. It's not a real creamy formula on this one here. It's kind of hard, so you kind of you know don't get a real good swatch on it with you know it does doesn't swatch as good on the arm here as it does when you put it on your cheeks. I have to sell I have to say that when you when you when I swatched it on my arm, it doesn't go as nice as it does when I put it on my cheeks. So that's the point I wanted to make. Now, this highlight here, I think I would have liked the highlight to be just a little bit more shimmery, more highlighty, -y, if that's a word, you know. Um, it is it is a nice uh, satiny, you know, finish. Um, I have to say that. And it, it is nice for just the office or whatever if you're going into work because it's not really bam in your face. But um, for me, I think it could have been just a little bit more... Um, shimmery or highlighty and this right here I think this particular formula for this highlight is just a little bit dry I think it's a little bit dry um I, I know you, you know that's my opinion I'm sorry if I'm if I'm stepping on toes you know but but that's my opinion for the palette it is a little bit dry for me so it, you have to really go in there and you know pick up color because it doesn't you know you have to really work at it and also I wish that these ovals were square because it's a little bit you know just a little bit bigger um to go in there and get some products you know with with the brush the ovals are just a little bit kind of awkward you can't I can't really put my brush in there that well to pick up, you know, because this is a basic blush brush or a basic, you know, um, highlighter brush. Uh, I wish they were at least a little bit, a little bit bigger and more square, you know, square. Um, but that's just me. In, in, you know, um, for these colors, um, I find that they do swatch pretty good. I think I wished that, um, which one is it? This one here, the Passion, which is, this one is pretty, you know, it's okay. It's nice, you know, it's not black, so don't expect it to be like a real black color. It's more of a brown, like I said, it's described as a brown with a reddish undertone, and it does have some sparkle in it. Um, now, they do blend really well. They blend better, I think, on your eye than they do swatch. So I do want to mention that um, So for this palette here. Um, so all in all, I think I give this pal palette a B um, for me um, because I'm just being honest with you the way I see it, the way I think th that... You know, I, I wish it would have been a little bit bigger, but for these here, more square or whatnot. But anyways, this palette, it, it is $15, and for the price, um, it's not, it's it's great. It, it's not bad at all. I mean, you know, for the price point on this, it, it's, it's fantastic for the price point. You know, this definitely is going to go with me when I go to trips because I don't want to take so many, um, you know, makeup items that break and everything. So I have everything here. So I, I really do like it. I really do. And, but I do give it a B, um, only for some points that I did point out. Um, but I really think it is very, uh, beneficial to have everything in one palette, you know, Especially because of the mirror and the container and such so I hope this was helpful for someone you probably all um, seen it a million times but this is this is just my opinion on the palette and I not dissing it or diss Emily because I think she's a doll um, it's you know 
but it's a good B for me. So I'm glad that you guys stopped in and watched my video. Please give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the palette. Do you have it? What do you think about this palette? Just this one here, because I'm going to do a video on the other one, like I said. So anyways, you guys, thanks for stopping in. I hope you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I am on Twitter and Facebook. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Subscribe.